Okay, hi everybody. So today I'm going to teach you about present sync synchron. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to teach you about present synchron. Okay, so at first I'm going to give you Okay, the positive form of present simple. Okay, so the form we have subject plus verb one or verb in present plus blah blah blah. Okay, so in English we have seven subjects: the okay, I, he, she, it, we, you, and and they. Plus verb. So we have verb more verb as well, right? Okay, the verb like verb stand, see, watch, play, stay, and so on. Okay, so let's see the example all together. Okay, the first example in here is I always get up at 6 o'clock. So, the subjects in here, subject I, and verb. Okay, verb 1 or verb in person in here, get. Okay, the verb get. So this is to show the present simple. Okay, so the next example, example number two. Okay, example number two. She wants to play tennis with you. She wants. Okay, subject C. One verb. Okay, but one in here we have the at s because. Subject, okay. Subject she is the third person singular, so that's why we add add as in here. Okay. Example number three. They stay at the hotel, okay, every weekend. Okay. They subject stay, okay, work one, okay, at the hotel every weekend. Okay, so that's all for the positive in present in power. So now let, let's go to the next one, uh, number two, negative forms. Okay, so the negative form in here, we have subject, plus do or does, plus not. Blah, verb 1 K okay. verb in present blah 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 okay so let's see the example example number one so students do not okay are done start school at eight o'clock so do not in here okay to show the negative forms and you can okay make it into the short form like don't do not don't okay it depends on the subject is plural so that's why you do it do okay student do not or don't start school at eight o'clock okay let's see the example number two okay subject student okay and do or that so you do not to show the negative and start verb keyword one okay next example example number two it does not or doesn't rain very much in summer okay it subject does do or does it depends on subject is it so it is the surface in singular so you read okay you read does not okay when verb one okay our impression next example example number three we do not how we done okay do fully sing okay so we subjects do is auxiliary verbs okay not to show the negatives and do in here is the verb, verb 1, ok, 
Okay, police scene. Okay, that's all. Okay, so for the next two centuries, uh, only here. So let's go to see the first and sentences. <laughs> Okay, question form. So how do we find the question form? So in here, you see the form. So do or does plus subjects. Okay, plus verb one, a word present, plus blah blah and plus. We have question mark. Okay, do and does in here. So we put do and does in front of subjects. Okay, after that, the subject, the word one, okay, plus the word nine. Okay, let's see the example. Example number one. Okay, do you want to visit the on malls? So, do, do in here, do or does. So, we use do because the subject is you. Once, well, okay, you is subjects and one is verb one subject one is verb one okay so next example example num number two does she love you okay so does in here do or does so the event of subject she so we does does she love you okay she is subjects love is verb one use in here we have it is an object okay and then we could put a question mark okay so let's see the example number three mm -hmm. do they agree with your plan okay do do does okay so you do subject they right? okay do they they is subject agree agree is the verb verb once okay so with you oh with sorry with your plans okay and question mark okay so i'll give you on this these three examples okay so let's go to the next one number four short short answers so short answer for all of these three questions okay let's see the answer number one okay exam number one do you want to visit the on mall so if we say yes yes i do or if you say no no i don't okay for answer number one and let's go to number two okay number two question number two does she love you okay so subject is she in here so we does so what we say yes yeah she does okay yes she does you say no no she doesn't okay no she doesn't negative okay for okay question number three is an example do they agree with your plans okay so if they answer uh, say yes yes they do subject is they because okay, so they yes they do if they know no they don't okay so this is a short answer for okay the question in phrase and scene for so let's go to the next one okay so after we know already the form of the presence in form, in positive form, negative form, and question forms, and now we should know how to use of the presence in part. Okay, so when do we use presence in part? Okay, so I'm going to tell you about this one. We use presence in part to talk about an action that happened again and again or a present habit okay let's see the example of the video okay so example i always get up at six o'clock so i'm subject okay get verb verb one 
to show the places we call and which which one to show us about the activity that will happen again and again okay you see the word always always in that adverb adverb that is modified to okay verb get get up right okay get up so how often do you get up at what time so get up at six o'clock today we get up at six o'clock yesterday or tomorrow or the day after tomorrow also get up at six o'clock this is to show the activity that happened again and again okay one more example Dara usually arrives home at five so this is to show activity that happened again and again okay usually usually it's a verb and arise verb verb one okay so usually modified to okay arise so to show the action that happened again and again okay this is the use okay of present simple okay so let's see the second uses let's kind use of present simple we use present simple to talk about fact or uh, which is always true fact and always true also okay let's see the example in here the wheat comes from the united states okay so the wheat he is an american so he from okay america or the united states it's real it's true right okay not he is not from the other country okay one more the sun rises from the east and sets in the in the west okay so the sun is always rise from the east not from the south or the north no this is real right and it's always said okay, in the in the west also this is real also Okay, so for presence in call, so that's all with the positive form, negative form, and question form. Okay, and the use. Okay, there's, there are two uses of presence in call at the moment that I provide to you. Okay, and thank you for okay, all of you that okay, try to spend time to watch our videos. Okay, if you have any question you can ask me more or you can comment okay and if you want to see more video please subscribe to our channel okay thank you bye bye